I talk, you listen. Welcome to my one-man panel of madness. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Tio Hu, and we're back to analyze the Series 13 trailer, which is not really a trailer, okay? I, I think it's more of a teaser, because the way I remember it, and things might have changed, things change all the time, is that a trailer is usually about more than a minute, um, and usually not more than two, but nowadays, it's like the whole movie is in the trailer. Um, so a teaser really is meant to just tease you, to get you excited uh, for whatever it is. So anyways, enough of the definition. Um, so when we start Doctor Who, when we start the trailer, um, we immediately see the Doctor coming out from this, you know, thick fog, focusing into her eyes. All right, let's start there. What does that mean? Who knows? Again, it's not really showing us what's going on. Smoke can mean that there's a battle, something that she's walking out from. Um, so... Does it have anything to do with the first episode we're going to see? I don't think so. I think it's going to be something more later on in the, um, the story. So as we keep going, of course, the Doctor returns. And um, we see a little bit of Vinder there, kind of shocked. Um, so we try to see what could be... A lot of people are claiming that Vinder might be a Time Lord. So the one, the very first shot of Vinder, which is Vindor. Oh, sorry. Vinder, um, 14 seconds into the trailer, the set looks nothing Gallifreyan, at least nothing that we've seen right now. And if we look at his outfit, his, his clothes, his nostril doesn't look very Gallifreyan. The letters on it. Now, I did read a person say that when we looked at the first Gallifreyan letters in the Five Doctors, they didn't look like what we see them today. So it could be ancient Gallifreyan. So it could be. Um, I don't think Vinder is uh, an agent of Division. I just think that he's a, another one of those characters that's kind of going to set things off on another route. Another, you know, I, I don't know if he's actually a baddie, or I want to think he's a baddie, though. I don't know. There's something about his eyes and the feel I have is that he may be coming after the Doctor for whatever reason. Um, so we keep going, of course, the Doctor, you know, for her biggest adventure. Um, there was a scene, a quick shot of some kind of cool little, um, almost like, I'm going to call them death drones. Um, they're about 16 seconds into the trailer there. I know they're like spinning little helicopter thingies on this, what looks to be a barren planet of oceans of green, of you know. Um, so they look pretty interesting. Um, it's, it's the same scene we'll see, the same shot we'll see later on with, uh, Yaz and the Doctor on some kind of glider. So that's that's cool to see. Of course, we get a quick glimpse of John Bishop as Dan, kind of shaking about the TARDIS. Uh, so that must be maybe his first episode, because he obviously hasn't learned to hold on. And then there's that shot of the TARDIS in the time vortex, going back and forth, banging on the walls of the, of the, of the time vortex on fire. So you can see that if you freeze frame... Uh, a few times, not on fire, but when it hits the wall, it looked like it created some kind of fire effect. As you go through, it's just going, you know, just a time vortex uh, through. Of course, the one with the Doctor, Yaz, and introducing everyone, um, you know, they look all wet. But that doesn't really tell us much. Um, so as we go through, we're trying to find clues because it definitely seems that this season, a lot of it has to do with clues. And in the past, a lot of those clues were found in the trailer. So that's what we're trying to see is what else could we see that we didn't see right away at first view. Now there is a really cool scene where uh, John Bishop's character, Dan, kind of falls right down. It looks, I thought if, at first it was like maybe an Egyptian temple or I, I, it definitely looks some kind of archaeological dig. What's really cool is what Yaz is wearing. She's kind of has that 19th century um look so they obviously are have, you know gone either have gone back in time to where they're searching because if you look around she's, there's a candle and there's all these little pots so it's it's archaeological very indiana jones-esque i guess you could say um so i wonder if they're searching and maybe that's the idea because this whole 
episode, this whole series. I mean, it's really an eight episode long episode, right? It's a long story. I think that's what we're going to find here. It's kind of like every episode is going to have a clue. And already we've heard the word mystery. Uh, Jody Whitaker used the word mysterious. And in this specific shot with Yaz looking at these little uh, clay pots or vases, it's like they're going and looking for clues. So I think this is going to be a, a big hunt. And if you think about what they're doing right now to us fans, saying that essentially we're going to have to be looking for clues and hunting for clues, um, you know, because we all learned about the mysterious mystery in the trailer that led us to a website that's having us look for a code phrase. So I'm sure a lot of Whovians uh, out there are looking to see what is that code phrase. People are doing everything they can, really, to find out what this code, code phrase is. Um, so I think that's what we're seeing here. And that's one clue for me that's telling me that this series is definitely going to be a lot about trying to find clues. Um, now, the whole part of the doctor hiding something, I've heard that some people believe that maybe she is bound for regeneration, but she's not saying anything. And that's something we've seen in the past when the doctor knows it's time. You know, so it, it looks like some of the doctors have known that it, it, that the time was coming. I mean, definitely when we looked at the 12th doctor, he he knew, right, that it was it was coming. It was, you know, he was holding it back. So this could be mean the same. Some people think that when you look at the title card, it says Doctor Who, and you see the rainbow colors that we find uh, prevalent in the doctor's coat, on the doctor's coat, when you look at the end side of the who, it's kind of shriveling up, almost like it is regenerating. You know, there's that light hitting it. Is that a clue that the doctor's regenerating? I don't know, but it's good to speculate, right? That's what keeps us going up until the end of the year when we get to see what it's all about. But that does bring the question, is the doctor hiding something, okay? So as we keep going, you know, obviously tunnels and the doctor has a slingshot, uh, we see another actor there. So, you know, what is going on? And of course, we're different period clothes. So we know that we're going to be traveling. Um, Vinder again, we see him really quickly go, whoa, in that same, um, looks to be in the same room or same set, which in the next shot right after that is uh, Dan or John Bishop in that same kind of ancient looking building, which I'd love to see what it is. Um, and then everybody's faces. And then, of course, we see the doctor with her little quirky smile. You know, um, like, mm -hmm, I got this. Or, it, it, you know, I actually like that face she made. Because, you know, the doctor is cocky. The doctor has to be cocky. Um, the doctor has to hide a lot of things from people. And the doctor cannot always be a saint. And that's what always inspired me about the doctor, is that he can be, or he, she, it, can be a hero, but not a saint. And, hey, I always say that on myself. You know, I'm no saint. I'm definitely a sinner, but I try my best um, to work on myself. And then we cut right into the streaming colors, which I really do like. Um, although I do kind of see a bit of Epcot. If you remember the Disney Park Epcot had these colors uh, as well. But I like how they're coming into the trailer and then they kind of zoom in to create the Doctor Who returns later this year. Um, and then if you keep going and, you know, you leave Jazz as she runs off, you'll notice that very briefly at the bottom center, you see the slash mystery. So what is all of this telling us? Who knows? Um, this could be a entire uh, game to keep us occupied for the next few months, which it could be. Um, you know, marketing ploys and marketing campaigns have always been used for that specific reason, to keep you going, keep you guessing. Uh, I know a lot of people already on there. If you go on Twitter, people have been asking, what is this password? How do we get there? We have that weird code, 131313. 13, 13. Um, is it 13 hours, 13 minutes, 13 seconds? Um, is it, you know, exactly at that time? Because the trailer is only um, about 50, depending which one you watch, it's about 50 seconds, 59 seconds long. So there is no... You know, there's 13 seconds, um, unless you're breaking it out of 13, 13, 13 milliseconds. But um, another theory is that if you watch the Comic-Con panel, um, that it's 13 minutes into the panel, which is 
uh, Jacob Anderson's interview. And then if you look, that maybe the clues are there. Um, another big thing that I'm considering is why is Jodie Whittaker wearing a Spider-Verse shirt? Now, I'm not saying she can't be a fan. She obviously is. But in the past, we've never seen Jodie wear anything geeky, right? I've, I don't even remember her ever wearing anything that resembles anything regarding Doctor Who. You know, why would you wear a shirt if you're at a Doctor Who panel? Why are you wearing a Spider-Verse t-shirt? And that made me start thinking, hmm, you know, are we going to another universe, perhaps? And that's where the storyline is going to go this time around. So that's just my own personal theory. This is not on the web, but I am going to share it um, to see if it gets any track. Because I think that there's something, you know, you she's always dressed in a specific way where you know that's how she dresses. But now randomly at Comic-Con, and again, it could just be because it's Comic-Con that she's wearing a comic book themed t-shirt or you know maybe it's something that has to do with the storyline um everybody gave a word uh i know i, I believe jody's was mysterious and christian Mill said swarm so of course we did research and we know that the episode that introduces K9 was regarding the swarm and did that have anything to do with it i don't know i don't think it's some sort of virus um, unless it's a virus that's making the Doctor have to regenerate. Who knows? We know that this is her third season. Most um, Doctor Who actors will do three seasons. That has been the norm. Is it going to be the norm for Jodie Whittaker? It may not be. Um, it may be a whole other season with uh, Series 14 with Jodie Whittaker, or as some people have um, rumored, that her regeneration may not be right away, but that it will be hinted at and then it will happen in specials next year uh, because you know once we get this series it's likely that they will mommy take some time off until the next season so the next season may be next fall of 2022 and in that point they would have either have had her regeneration in the special if we even get a special because there is no word on the special yet so you know lots to think about lots to you know kind of uh, unravel clues, which I kind of like. I like that if you're going to, you know, have something like Doctor Who, then give us some clues. Maybe they are already telling us in the trailer. Um, and it could have started way back right there with the Comic-Con panel. Um, you know, the cast was probably sharing stuff about it. And um, so we'll see. Everybody's dissecting everything as we are here. So that is my personal Doctor Gia Who's dissection of the series 13 teaser i'm not calling it a trailer because that thing was not a trailer by any means a trailer is going to be a little longer and it's going to have a little bit more meat to it not just facial expressions which let's be honest that's all pretty much it was mine is that one scene of the doctor and yaz and some kind of you know space floaty thingy whatever anyways that's what i have for today thank you for listening don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more of my sci-fi horror rambles, because there are more coming. We're getting back up into uh, that time of year where things are shaping up. Usually right there at Comic-Con, we got movies coming out. There's a lot of new things coming out from Star Trek, um, Star Wars. There's so much going on that I'm excited to get back and doing some more episodes and segments. So, until next. <laughs>